Learning a new dance can be tricky for beginners, but thanks to the High Neighbor Nights hosted by the Relax Squares group, all are welcome to come and learn. 18 News reporter Fontaine Glenn has more. The right hold on, left hold on. Square dancing has been named the dance of the nation, and here in Elmira, people gather together to dance at St. Charles Church. The club is probably a little more relaxed than some of the other ones, but we we draw a lot of people and we just have a good time, and that's what square dancing is about, is having fun. There are also health benefits to it as well. Well, the one thing for sure is there's the health portion, because uh, in square dancing, a regular square dance, two-hour dance, you walk about six miles if you dance every dance. For this couple, when they aren't in Florida, it allows them time together while having a night of fun. Yes, the people yeah. are very friendly, very nice, and it's just so much fun to move with the music and get a lot of exercise that I wouldn't get if it weren't for the dancing. For Heather Clark, square dancing is a way for her to connect with her children and husband. Because I feel like sometimes we don't, in the society we live in today, we're all on our phones and we're in front of televisions and we don't spend time just connecting. And I love that square dancing is, I, I touch your hand so I, I can feel you, I can spend time with you and I feel like we're connecting with other people. Behind me, the group Relax Squares comes together every Monday night here at St. Charles Church. People of all ages join and they practice their do si -do. Reporting from St. Charles Church, I'm Fontaine Glenn, 18 News. Looks like a great time. Thank you, Fontaine. So the